Hi, welcome back to Cranking Out Crafts. We are continuing our week on graduation signboards, and our friends at 808 Urban helped make some of these boards. And this one right here was a spray painted technique, is the background, and they masked off with tape the letters, cut them out, and now what I'm going to do is glitter the letters like we did on this one. So I'm going to show you some easy glittering techniques. One thing though you want to be aware of is when you spray paint or even the basics paint to do any of these boards, if you load it with too much paint, you will notice it may have a tendency to bow. You can lay something heavy on this to help straighten it out, but don't worry, that's just because there's um, a lot of moisture in the paints and it has a tendency to bow like that. It's okay. Um, all right, so first of all, we're gonna use Mod Podge and I have extra fine glitter. I'm noticing that the extra fine glitter gives a beautiful coverage, so I really prefer that. So I will just do a portion of this one. So I have the T. I don't have to do the entire T at one time because I find that the glue has a tendency to dry before I get the glitter on it if I try and put glue over the entire thing. So I'll just do it in pieces. So here we go. I use a flat brush too. I find that works best because I can get, I can make a really crisp line, get right up against that edge there. All right. So next, I'm going to take my glitter. I go ahead and take the top off, even though it has a little shaker like salt and pepper. And I just sprinkle the glitter on, give it good coverage, put the lid on good. And then I always have a piece of paper that I have pre-creased. This helps when I'm gathering all the glitter and I want it to go to one place. Now this piece of paper may be a little big, but I'm working kind of big here. So you can use a smaller piece if you have a smaller project. All right, newspaper works great too if you have newspaper. All right, so I just take this and give it a good tap. You can see what great coverage that is. Now, I'll take my Mod Podge and just continue. The glitter also goes a very long way. You'll notice just with the excess that I poured on here, I'll still have more remaining after this side of the tea. Hard for me to talk and concentrate and do this line at the same time. Okay, a little bit more Mod Podge. Again, we want to make sure it has a really nice coverage going right up against that where I did it earlier. Picked up a little glitter from there too. It's all right. All right, now I'll take my excess that I have in this pile carefully take my giant piece of paper. <laughs> I want you guys to be able to see this. All right, and then I'm gonna pour it, probably should have poured it in the top area, it's okay. Okay, then I'm just lightly tapping the board. I'm gonna tap it down so the glitter will find all the sticky stuff. You can see I'm getting it everywhere. That's why I like to have a nice big board. Ta-da! So good coverage. Now the next thing I want to talk about, I'm going to show you the completed one. You always want to make sure, gather that glitter. I won't forget about that. <laughs> Once the glitter is completely dry on here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do another coat of Mod Podge on top. And that is to protect you from being all glittered the next day or while you're putting the board 
like holding it up. You don't want all your glitter to also shake off before your event either. So this is protecting it and sealing that glitter in. Right now you can see it is really milky and white, but afterwards it will be clear. I've done this whole section already with the Mod Podge and it's cleared. But that's gonna protect me from it being glittery later. And I'm not picking anything up because I already sealed it after. But I highly recommend sealing your glitter in with a top layer of Mod Podge. Um, as I mentioned before, you wanna make sure that your bottom layer of glue is completely dry first. Otherwise, when you go over it, you're just gonna keep picking up that glitter and removing it. So make sure your first layer is completely dry. Probably take you, I don't know, about half hour before it's dry. All right, so we hope you enjoyed today's segment and learned something on Cranking Out Crafts. Check us out also on Instagram at BF Crafts.